once I get off the bus from ADAG, uh, first they'll uh, get a warm reception from the soldiers, um, then they'll move into the welcome tent. So at the welcome tent, uh, they'll be screened uh, for COVID-19, then they'll assume their positions for the welcome brief, uh, where we'll put up a map, um, give them the rundown on kind of welcome to the United States, where they are, and some camp expectations for their process moving forward. Uh, from that, they'll move on uh, next to their building assignment uh, for billets. Once they get to the billet assignment, um, they'll be tracked by family units so they can stay with families. And if they express concerns about family groups knowing each other, uh, we'll do our best in order to um, assist with that process and make sure they can stay co-located with the people they know. Soldiers from BEB, particularly my soldiers, are working a couple different jobs across Don Diana Village. So some of my soldiers um, are working at reception for COVID screening, both day and night shift, while other soldiers are working at COVID isolation um, to help out our Afghan visitors um, who do test positive for COVID and uh, require that quarantine time or isolation. In addition to that, um, that same group of soldiers is actually doing a phenomenal job helping out where they can around uh, Donna Anna Village in terms of uh, building benches, um, resting spots, as well as partitions, wherever they can, you know, lend their hand to construct or and double as those engineer tasks. Uh, my soldiers are particularly my co, but everybody's kind of taking on that engineer outlook here to just chip in where they can. The COVID testing process will begin when those families enter the reception tent. Uh, they'll be kept as a family unit and escorted to one of the tables uh, where we have linguists available to help describe the process of COVID testing. All our soldiers are equipped and trained to demonstrate how that COVID-19 test will take place. And ideally, um, our Afghan visitors will actually be able to administer the tests um, on themselves, uh, provided they're doing it um, to draw accurate information, doing it correctly. And we have trained COVID testers there to ensure that that's taking place, demonstrate as well as assist. From arriving to getting the housing assignment, uh, the biggest piece of friction is just ensuring that uh, we maintain that housing capability. So every day we're building new uh, billets, um, tents for these families to relocate to. And as those tents come online, um, the LSA or the area around Donna Anna Village will expand. So it's finding available space to keep those families with their family units in a way that's not too far away from amenities. So just because we have the beds online doesn't mean that those uh, houses or billets are um, inhabitable because they also need the resources surrounding that, like latrines, defect. So we can't outpace those resources and amenities that are tied to housing. So helping people, that's the big one. Uh, every soldier loves training, uh, but out here you can really see the impact immediately as you're taking action. So every day we get better um, and there's immediate feedback in our performance because our Afghan visitors are happy, they'll run up, um, sometimes they express concern, sometimes uh, they express joy at some of the resources that have been implemented. Um, so when our soldiers build a bench and then immediately our Afghan visitors are sitting on that bench enjoying their quiet time in the evening, uh, you know you've done a good job. As well as you'll see soldiers out here after we build soccer goals, playing soccer uh, with our Afghan visitors. So that kind of immediate feedback is the positive outlook for soldiers. And they're getting out here, getting to interact, and they see that immediate um, mission improvement right after they're done their tasks. So currently right now in Donna Anna housing area, we're are the COVID testing. We're facilitating all the COVID tests for the evacuees that are coming through. So far, it's been, it's been enlightening. Um, it's a new thing for all of us, for me and my soldiers' wives. It's a great experience that we're being able to help you know, all the evacuees that are coming through. Yeah. The interpreters help us out a lot um, with the language barrier between ourselves and the uh, evacuees. As, they, as the evacuees come to us, um, we keep them in families and like separate males kind of together. Um, we give them the rapid COVID test to test to make sure that they don't have any, um, they're not COVID positive. We've processed uh, 1,300 evacuees currently. We started on this past Saturday until today. As soldiers, you know, um, we all were already COVID vaccinated. So there was a group of us that got the training from the medical team at Fort Bliss. And we got the rehearsals that we needed to. And through the chain of commands and the leadership, we all ensured our soldiers were properly trained and knew exactly what to do for the evacuees as far as administering the test or self or helping them self administer the test. I mean, we're still on the current mission of helping the evacuees still, they're still coming in. So at the time being, we're just doing that until we get told otherwise. Uh, a positive thing is a, a better outlook on the world. You know, 
here we experience things differently than others so we're seeing um, I guess a way to help others than just ourselves. It, it's helped uh, tremendously honestly uh, we didn't know exactly what to expect first coming out here but throughout the training it helped prepare us for the evacuees coming in.